Number 5. TP-Link Archer A7 For a bargain basement router, TP-Link's Archer A7 does a surprisingly good job of moving the bits around the house. Looking for one of the best deals in Wi-Fi routers? The TP-Link Archer A7 may not have an impressive range or the customization options of competitors, but it has parental controls, quality of service or QoS software, and a two-year warranty. Small and discreet, the TP-Link Archer A7 can be hidden just about anywhere. Inside, the Archer A7 dual-band router is powered by a Qualcomm Atheros QCA9563 Wi-Fi chip with a 750MHz processor with 128MB of RAM. There's 16 megabytes of flash storage for holding the device's settings and firmware. The dual-band router has a maximum throughput of 450 Mbps for its 2.4 GHz band and 1.3 Gbps for its 5 GHz band, for a total bandwidth of 1.75 Gbps. The Archer A7's throughput is between the TP-Link Archer C2300's phenomenal 963.6 Mbps and the Asus Blue Cave's mediocre 439.1 Mbps at the same distance. It may not be the fastest, largest, or most powerful router available, but the TP-Link Archer A7's price tag is on a par with the venerable Netgear R6220 router, making it one of the best bargains of the router world. Number 4. Amazon Eero the standard Eero mesh Wi-Fi system is an excellent whole-home solution for people who have struggled with wireless knot spots and Wi-Fi boosters in the past. Eero says that three of its mesh Wi-Fi units working together will be enough to provide Wi-Fi coverage across 460 square meters, roughly 4,950 square feet of home space, while a single unit should cover around 140 square meters. The Eero units are squat cuboids with gentle curves, matte edges, and a reflective finish on the top. Measuring 60 by 98 by 98 millimeters, they're a lot smaller than your typical networking kit as well. One could pass for an Apple Magic Mouse if you squinted. Setting up your Eero mesh Wi-Fi system from your phone is simple. You'll need to download the iOS or Android app, connect your first Eero to your modem via Ethernet, and then connect it to the mains. Once that's powered on and you've established an internet connection, you'll then be asked to pair it with your phone. There are faster options out there than the new 3rd gen Eero, not least the more expensive Eero Pro, but for most users the Eero should give you the speeds, the stability and the coverage you're going to need for a home Wi-Fi network. It's a quality option for fixing Wi-Fi around your home. The only problem is, there's so much competition. Number 3. Netgear Nighthawk R7000 the cloud-based cybersecurity solution company Netgear has produced its latest router, the R7000P Nighthawk. It's an exceptional mid-range router that's a great choice if you're concerned about your privacy and cybersecurity. Basically, the Netgear R7000P Nighthawk is engineered to protect your smart home devices, it provides great parental control, and it offers great value for its price, but it requires you to pay a subscription though. The Netgear R7000P Nighthawk is shaped like a wedge, with interesting lines and angles displaying a futuristic look. It measures 1.9 by 11.2 by 7.2 inches, with three removable and adjustable antenna on the rear. The device is designed to be set up horizontally, however it can be mounted up the wall thanks to its wall mount ports. On the rear, you'll find the connectivity ports consisting of 4 gigabit LAN ports, a WAN port, a USB 2.0 port, and on the front, you have a USB 3.0 port, with all the LED indicators all corresponding to functions. Spec-wise, the device has a 1 GHz dual-core CPU with 128MB of flash memory, combined with 256MB of RAM. Theoretically, this router is designed to reach a maximum speed of 600 Mbps on the 2.4 GHz band and 1625 Mbps on the 5 GHz band through 1024QAM. It's capable of supporting all the latest 802.11 AC technology features, also, the Moo Mimo that's capable of delivering data at the same time instead of a sequential approach. The setup process is very easy and the speeds are excellent. If you have concerns about your cybersecurity but don't want to spend a lot, this is your best bet. Number 2. Asus RT-AX88U AX6000 The Asus RT-AX88U is one of the first Wi-Fi 6 802.11 AX routers on the market and I was quite excited to get my hands on it. So excited, I decided to test it for a second time. I didn't have any Wi-Fi 6 clients the first time round. So this is an updated review to include the router's Wi-Fi 6 performance using some Intel AX200 based devices. It's important to note that the RT-AX88U has no multi-gig network port. While the gigabit network ports are enough for the RT-AC88U, they're not for the RT-AX88U. 
As a Wi-Fi 6 router, the latter's wireless speed can easily surpass 1 Gbps. Consequently, in a wired-to-wireless -wireless connection, the router's LAN ports are the bottlenecks. On the inside, the new router is much more powerful than its older cousin. For one, it features 802.11ax with top Wi-Fi speed of up to 4,333 Mbps on the 5 GHz band and up to 1,148 Mbps on the 2.4 GHz band. Like most ASUS routers released in the past five years or so, the RTAX88U supports universal setting restoration. Supporting 4x4 Wi-Fi 6 yet without a multi-gig port, the ASUS RTAX88U is half of a router it can be in terms of performance. Specifically, even when 4x4 clients are available, there's virtually no scenario in which you can enjoy its faster wireless speeds. It really is one of the best gaming routers in the market besides that. Number 1. ASUS ROG Rapture GTAX 11000 Designed with gamers in mind, the ASUS ROG Rapture GTAX 11000 is the Wi-Fi 6 router to get for those who need to fill a large house with Wi-Fi. It has soft rubber feet to avoid scratching your furniture. On the other hand, ASUS engineers left out any provision for mounting the GTAX 11000 on a wall. It fit nicely on a bookshelf, though. Inside, the chip has a quad-core 1.8 GHz processor, 1 GB RAM, and 256 MB of space for firmware and settings. It is one fast router, with the ability to theoretically push 4.8 Gbps on each of its two 5 GHz transmission bands and 1.2 Gbps on its 2.4 GHz channel. It's rated at having a maximum of 10.8 Gbps to wireless devices with 802.11ax hardware. On the other hand, there's only a handful of 802.11ax devices available, so it will be some time before the GTAX 11000 and other similar routers reach their full potential. You can add less expensive ASUS iMesh compatible routers and extenders and create a whole-of-home single sign-on roaming mesh. It scans the 2.4GHz and both the 5GHz channels to see what channels other Wi-Fi routers are using and allocates the best available channels. This provides VPN access to the whole home network without having to install VPN software. It supports PPTP, OpenVPN, and IPsec VPN. If you use NordVPN or private internet access and others, you can get specific ASUS setup parameters from them. With the introduction of the ASUS ROG Raptor GTAX 11000, all other gaming routers may not be obsolete, but they are now second best. Buying Guide First of all, ease of use. As you may know, a Wi-Fi system is pretty easy to set up. The only thing you need to do is to set up the main hub, and the rest of the hubs will replicate the settings of the main hub, which is great. If you want to change the Wi-Fi settings, such as the password or the network name, you also just have to do that on the router on it, as the satellites will replicate the change by themselves. Overall, the setup process is very simple, and there are no complications. Secondly, 802.11ac and Gigabit Ethernet. Whether you're for or against it, a wired connection is still the preferred method for gamers. There's minimal signal loss, faster speeds, and frankly, who's even moving around when playing a game? However, there's nothing wrong with playing wirelessly. By now, most devices are built supporting the 802.11ac standard, which has a real-world speed of roughly 1 Gbps or 1000 Mbps and above. To put it simply, you can think of 802.11ac as wireless gigabit ethernet. So now, if you're limited to a wireless connection due to some constraints, make sure that you're using at least an 802.11ac router. And thirdly, quality of service, or QoS. Think of QoS as bandwidth management. It's a tool that lets you prioritize and allocate devices and applications based on your preferences, so you can get the speed you want. Most routers already have this setting, whether it's plain and simple or gamified, they're all practically serving the same function. Some even have an adaptive QoS, which learns what to prioritize based on your network activity.